Gallimoffrey Performing Arts is a theater and dance company founded in 2004 in Laguna Beach, California by Steve Josephson, the current executive artistic director. Gallimoffrey was founded in 2004 by Steve Josephson. Since its inception, the company has produced 13 fully staged musicals, 5 plays, 11 dance events, 14 musical concerts and many other special events. In April 2009, Gallimoffrey presented the world premiere of a new play called Scared Money. The play was written by Sherwood Kirai. Sherwood recently wrote the screenplay for the film Diminished Capacity, which starred Matthew Broderick and Alan Alda. His new play is a comedy about six people searching for hidden Santa Anita Pick 6 racetrack ticket worth $714,000. The title derives from an old saying scared money never wins, meaning that you shouldn't gamble money you're afraid to lose. Dance days consist of free master classes followed by a free performance on Laguna's main beach. Past master classes have ranged from rhythm tap, modern and hip-hop to Afro-Caribbean, Indian, and Latin jazz. Past dance day performances have included the inspirational and explosive Lula Washington Dance Theater, Aaron Landry, The Spirited Grace of Backhouse Dance, The B-Boying, Poppin', Blockin' of Jabba Walkies. Who became the first winners on the MTV series America's Best Dance Crew, the choreographic intricacy and artistry of Sean Green, the premiere of Karama at Desco's Alive Contemporary Dance Company. San Francisco's lively and sensuous company Chaddock, the contemporary drumming sounds of Tycho Project, the comic genius of Dudley Brooks's comedy dance troupe run. For your life from San Francisco, the beguiling the evocative Indian choreography of Rama Bardvaj and the Angahara Ensemble which also included a Tahitian ensemble. Gallum Offrey and Green is the brainchild of executive artistic director, Steve Josephson. Josephson, the creator of the company's Dance Days and Songs in the Sand series, as well as the executive director of the inaugural COD Dance Festival, has built this new company around famed dancer and choreographer, Sean Green. The new contemporary dance company received its world premiere on April 18, 2007, as part of Gallimoffrey's Arts Festival. The company has performed The Right to Fall, Angels, and A Night at the Movies, which they also took overseas to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. In April 2008, Gallimoffrey presented Jump Rhythm Jazz Project, the Emmy award-winning dance company from Chicago. The group is made up of rhythmically explosive dancer-singer-actors that celebrate jazz. It was founded in 1990 by Billy Siegenfeld, who continues to choreograph for the company and perform as an ensemble member. He received a 2006-2007 Emmy Award in the category of Outstanding Achievement for Individual Excellence on Camera slash Performer for his work in the multiple Emmy Award-winning documentary Jump Rhythm Jazz Project, Getting There. In October 2008, Gallimoffrey brought a dance troupe straight from the Edinburgh Fringe Festival to perform on Main Beach. The troupe is called the Not Man Apart Physical Theatre Ensemble, and the show is called Pericles Redux, a reconstruction of Shakespeare's romantic odyssey. The show pushed the boundaries between theatre and dance, and was met with rave reviews, both in Edinburgh and Laguna Beach. Created in 2006, the Ridiculous Medley is a new vocal performance group that performs for special events, community functions, parties, fundraisers and corporate events. Under the direction of Meredith Woodson Hubbard, the Ridiculous Medley has already performed for the Chalk Queen of Hearts Guild fundraiser as well as several community events. Gallimoffrey was affiliated with the Laguna Beach Community Choir called Laguna Tunes. The choir performs two concerts a year, one during the holiday season and one in early spring. These concerts are performed at the Artist Theatre. Gallimoffrey is part of the Laguna Beach Alliance for the Arts. The poster for the Generation Gap's production of Once on This Island The Generation Gap is a self-producing teen theater company. The group focuses on learning all aspects of theater, including producing, directing, performing, designing, managing, project managing and fundraising. Teens ages 12 to 18 plan, raise money, produce, design, cast, direct and perform in shows, and in the process learn all the ins and outs of how to run a theater company. Generation Gap's most recent production was the musical Little Women. The poster for Harlem Renaissance, which Gallimoffrey took overseas to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival in the summer of 2007. Gallimoffrey Performing Arts took two shows overseas to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, the world's largest arts festival. Both shows performed in the renowned sea venues. The group revived their production of Sorted Lives in a revamped version of Harlem Renaissance. Jonelle Allen received rave reviews for her performance as Florence Mills and the show was chosen as a pick of the fringe by the Gilded Balloon. In 2008, the dance troupe Gallimoffrey and Green performed their show, A Night at the Movies, 
At the Fringe. In 2008, Gallimoff rejoined with the Orange County Playwrights Alliance to conduct a playwright competition. They found both full-length and one-act plays that centered around Halloween. Eight plays were chosen and they were performed the first weekend of November at the Forum Theatre. Since 2006, Gallimoffrey has been presenting concert versions of classic shows on the sands of Main Beach and Laguna. These concerts are free to the public and feature a full orchestra. The first in this series was South Pacific, followed by Carousel and Guys and Dolls. The most recent production was a series of songs from Fiddler on the Roof, My Fair Lady, and Chicago. In October 2008, Gallimoffrey brought a Middle Eastern sketch comedy quartet to Laguna to perform their show. The show was entitled The Arab, The Jew, and The Chicken. It was a hit at the 2008 Edinburgh Fringe Festival, and their performance in Laguna was their international debut. The show was written and performed by Arab, Israeli, Jewish and Muslim actors and it focused on conflict, identity and everyday life in the Middle East. Thanks for watching.